So guys, we have arrived in our fourth tutorial and we are in our chat fragment from the user that we have already, you know, uh, passed, the, passed the values on which user we are clicking. So without a further ado, let's just get right into it and like, you know, gain those values and and attach it to our views so you know we can see it okay so this tutorial will be working on the chat fragment most of the so the username is going to be text view username circular image view image view okay great and uh, we need something uh, some variables to store the receiving values from the user to chat fragment the arguments if I may in the more uh, good language yeah so we need position we are receiving position we are receiving brand ID we are receiving an image URL and we are receiving a username. So what I'll do is you create it. First of all, initialize your views. Username, you find by ID, username, chat fragment, image view because right now we don't have the image so image user and what we'll do is position is chat fragment arguments from bundle get arguments get position so that's how you receive those values that you had passed. Okay, brand ID. I'll just copy paste this and rename it later. Okay, brand ID. Is equals is going to be get brand ID image URL is going to be get image URL username is going to be get username. So what I'll do is username we can set a text view username. And if I see right now, if I run this app and click on our from the user fragment, then the values should be working. And if it's not, then we'll fix it. But yeah, I'm sure it will work. So we want to know with whom we have entered the chat in. Okay, so our app has launched. And let's say if I click on JSON, so it's showing JSON. I go back, Jonas, Samuel, Samuel. Okay, that means whatever the values that we had passed are correct. But we are still not done yet, so there is a lot of work that we have to do now. So what we will do is we will go back to our user fragment and show who is logged in. So to do that, we need a circular image view. And we will first of all initialize it. Because we want to show who is logged in. Image view user. And if I can add a text view here, that would be helpful for the reference of this video because I haven't yet added the photo. 
so it would be hard to tell yeah we we'll just write the test size we can give it a little bit 18 sp okay like that and we can just use the name on user right so we'll just go in here and uh, yeah I will go to my user fragment so we know who is logged in. Then we will go back to our chat fragment. Username log in. Username on user fragment so we know who is logged in. And I'll come back in here. So we need Firebase Firestore. This I'm doing for the non MVVM approach because this is only the one or two views, so we don't need to write the whole view model and repository for it. Action users. Okay, so here we need Firebase Auth Okay, user ID user ID currently get you ID because I only want to display who is logged in. So that is why I would specifically query the user that has the same document ID as the user who is logged in. So if if this Samuel has logged in, that means I must pass Samuel's user ID in order to only query this field. Otherwise, if I don't pass this, then I would end up querying this whole list of documents. But we need specific, so we have to be be specific here. Document user ID. And uh, yeah, for complete listener, okay, uh, get here. What we'll do is if task is successful. So we'll we'll deal with the image later, but for now we have to display the name. So take this here and uh, uh, user model user model task get result. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, like this, and we'll user name user model get string because the field that we are creating is username and for username logged in set text is going to be so then we know that okay here we'll just look for the future get string page user that we will use later. So if I reload the app, then what it should do that whoever is logged in, that person's name should be displayed. And we'll deal with the image later. 
So here somewhere we need to see the user who has logged in. So the reason we can verify it that for sure Ninja has logged in is because we don't see Ninja in this list. And if we see whoever is logged in to this list, that means there is something wrong in our repository where we were we had added this condition that user ID if it's not equal to the if it's not equal to the get user ID, then only add the list. So for us it is working well. And yeah. So we can just uh, style this view later once we work on the photo. But now that we are in the chat fragment, let's go to the chat fragment and initialize all the views. Like the back button, the message that we are going to type, the send button and all that, okay? So what we are doing here is we are initializing our views. The image button is going to be send message. And message as the message that we are going to type add a text message and I think yeah so once we are on the once the send message button image button is pressed what should happen Set on click listener. Okay, perfect. So what should happen is the message string, whatever the test that is available in the edit text has to be added in this. And if message is empty, we can set an error. Something and otherwise send the message. Okay. So, what we'll do here is we're going to send the message friend ID that is going to be the receiver and uh, the message itself. And we are also going to send the user ID whoever is the sender. Like, so to get the user ID, I'll just user ID, service or get current user, get UID. The reason it's showing that because we want to check if it's null or not, but it's not null. User ID. Okay. So, what we'll do is sending message, creating a method. And what should happen now is Firestore connection messages. But first of all, we have to sort it with the time. So <laughs> So why am I doing this extra step of like adding the messages with the time 
timestamp. The reason is if I will add the messages randomly and it's like Firestore is adding adding the documents randomly. For example, if there is no user ID specified and it's just adding the documents alphabetically, whatever the order that pleases the Firestore, then our messages will not display in order. But once I once I display, once I add the messages with the timestamp, that means it will have an order because it is a number. So that is why I'm doing this. If you don't understand, I'll explain again. If we do not have a specific like number or something that we are using to order the messages, then Firestore will automatically add the messages in whatever order the Firestore pleases. And in the same order, whatever the order of the documents is here, Firestore will display our data in the recycler view. But we want to display our messages, the latest message first. So that is why we have to order it. And therefore, I have used the time stamp. We'll use hash map because we are passing the values in Firestore. Hashpap is great even if you are using a real-time database in Firebase. It's kind of same method. Sender. Who is sender? User ID sender. Who is receiver? Friend is the receiver. What is the message? The message that we have gotten the text from the the text from the added text time on what time the message was sent great so what we'll do is set hash map add on complete listener okay great so this is done and let's try sending our first message and we'll see that that message will be added if it's successful then it should add a new collection in the firestore And in the next tutorial, we will be querying that, that uh, collection and displaying our messages. So in this tutorial, what we have done is we have just sent the messages in our to, to our respective users. And in the next tutorial, what I'll do is I will display those messages. So I'll see you in the next one.